tributes have been paid to the climber and charity fundraiser Ian McKeever, who died while ascending Africa's highest mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro. The Taoiseach said he admired him not only for his achievements, but also for his work with young people. Mr McKeever, who was 42 and from County Wicklow, was struck by lightning. His fiancée, Anna O'Loughlin, who was injured in the incident, thanked those who sent messages of support. She said that from the moment they met a year ago tomorrow, they knew they were soulmates. Adventurer, charity fundraiser and record breaker, Ian McKeever was well known for his sporting achievements. In 2007, he broke the world record for climbing the highest summit on each of the seven continents, knocking 32 days off the previous record. It's a bit emotional. <sighs> Didn't know if I could do it or not. At home in 2011, he set a new record for the most reek climbs on Croke Patrick, 35 summits in 80 climbing hours. And in recent years, Ian McKeever trained and guided hundreds of climbers to the summit of Africa's highest mountain. Here's the cool thing about Kilimanjaro. When you get there, you have a choice, better or bitter. You park your baggage at the bottom. When you come off this mountain, you decide whether you want to pick up that baggage or not. Now, if you can give a young person that opportunity in any other way, shape or form, then bring it on. His latest expedition set off to Tanzania from Ireland on the 28th of December. The team of 23 began their ascent of Mount Kilimanjaro the day before New Year's Eve. Posting on his Kilimanjaro Achievers Facebook page, Ian McKeever spoke of the challenging weather conditions facing the group. Then, late last night, a message posted on behalf of his family, fiance Anna and friends, advised of Ian's sudden death. The 42-year-old was struck by lightning. Other people on the trip, including his fiancée Anna, received medical treatment following the strike, which has been described as a freak incident. The Department of Foreign Affairs is offering assistance. Ian McKeever's family said that he died doing what he loved best. Laura Fletcher, RTE News. Well, A.D. Roach, friend and charity CEO, is in our Cork studio. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Uh, Miss Roach, you speak of it yourself and we saw it there. Ian McKeever's unstoppable energy and this can-do philosophy, which fed into the incredible charity work that he undertook for so long. Absolutely, Sharon, and I'm, I'm privileged to be given the opportunity to pay a tribute and to add to the tributes already given um, for Ian and, and his legacy. Ian was a social entrepreneur, like he was passionate about life and that passion for life drove his charity work. And Ian was never interested in material gain for himself because he saw the greatest riches of the riches of the heart and of the mind. And he was so committed to believing and the power of what is possible, encouraging young people to dig deep within themselves and to find their own hidden talents and strengths. And the first thing that Ian would always say to young people was conquer your own Everest. Find within the courage and the strength and you can do everything. He was full of energy, vibrancy, wisdom, uh, enthusiasm. He was a great friend, a mentor, a role model. He was an extraordinary young man. He raised hundreds of thousands for charities and we loved him dearly. And I think, you know, Ireland will be poorer for that, Sharon, today, like the children of Crumlin, the children of Ireland and the children of, of Chernobyl. He was an extraordinary young man. And the tributes pouring in for him, they portray him as a, as a very humble man, a very uh, modest man, but clearly an extraordinary man. An extraordinary man who had a unique talent for communicating, actually, and most of all his communication with young people. He really went across the whole social divide because he had a holistic approach and belief in in, in life. It was never just about the fundraising. It was always about finding the full person, finding your strengths, your capabilities, getting people to reach for the stars, to stretch for themselves. And actually, he leaves behind an extraordinary le legacy of a whole generation of young people who could be despondent and despairing of our society, but they are richer for the knowing of Ian because he has helped them to actually reach into themselves and to create a better world. Have you uh, an abiding personal memory of Ian McKee? Oh, I have lots of personal memories travelling in the back of his car around the country on a speaking tour last year. But one my very first memory of Ian was seeing him dressed in a Santa Claus suit coming around by City Hall here in Cork, followed by dozens of students in equal Santa outfits, having cycled from Dublin to Cork to raise money for Chernobyl. And Ian up in the front going saying, yippee, we did it. And that is the abiding memory I have of Ian 
that he could do it, he did do it, and as a result, he really enriched the lives of so many of us who were privileged to have known him. Well, thank you for talking to us on the programme, A.D. Roach.